Colorectal cancer is the fourth commonest cancer in the UK, with over 40,000 diagnoses each year. The majority of people are aged over 50 years, however bowel cancer can affect younger people and can run in families. Most bowel cancers start as precancerous growths, or polyps, which over time grow before becoming a fully established cancer. This process can take two to three years. Colorectal cancer can spread to other parts of the body such as the lymph nodes, liver or lungs. Colorectal cancer can present in different ways such as tiredness, weight loss or a prolonged change in bowel habit. Bleeding from the back passage is also a possible symptom. The majority of patients with rectal bleeding don't have cancer but some will. The National Bowel Screening Programme aims to detect non-visible blood in the stool to select people for further investigation. If your GP is concerned about bowel cancer, they may order a fecal immunochemical test, known as a FIT test, which detects microscopic levels of blood. Bleeding from a cancer is also the reason why some patients are anemic when diagnosed, meaning they have a low blood level. Occasionally, cancers are detected by coincidence on other routine tests. Other patients may present with the complications of cancer, such as a blockage in the bowel. This is treated as an emergency. We use different tests to investigate and diagnose colorectal cancer, and their order may vary. We perform blood tests to assess for anemia and check other important organs such as the kidney or liver. If a concern for a bowel cancer is raised, patients may be invited to attend for a camera test of their bowel or a CT scan of the bowel. There are two types of camera test, a flexible sigmoidoscopy, which looks at the last 50% of the large bowel, and a colonoscopy, which looks at the whole large bowel. These tests allow us to look directly at the bowel lining, take a biopsy if a cancer is found, and remove polyps, which can be precancerous. We can also mark the position of a cancer with a tattoo, which helps if the patient proceeds to surgery. A C-scan of the colon, the large bowel, is an alternative test, which is potentially less invasive. However, if the CT scan demonstrates polyps or a cancer, a camera test will still be necessary. All patients with a diagnosis of bowel cancer require a CT scan that examines their chest, abdomen and pelvis to look for spread of the cancer to other areas of the body. Specific patients with rectal cancer may require an additional MRI scan of the pelvis. A small number of patients may require a PET scan, which is a specific scan that can show spread of cancer away from the bowel. Thanks for watching this video. To find out more about your cancer treatment journey, watch the other videos in this series.